Hello, this is the polywavetable algorithm on the Disting EX. This is an eight voice polyphonic synthesizer with built in effects, um, envelopes, LFOs etc. and it's based on wavetable synthesis as a, a number of the modes on the disting are now. Um, it can be played by MIDI, I've got a keyboard here, and by CV gate, and I'll show you that as well. And in terms certainly of the sheer number of parameters available, this is the most complex mode on the disting EX yet. There's over 70 parameters and this really motivated the development of the uh, web editor which I'll be using over MIDI. I've got my MIDI breakout here connected to the EX, which I'll be using it to play it, but also to use the editor, um, which looks like this. So you can see there's a lot of uh, parameters to adjust on this. Um, I'm going to break this up into a number of shortish or not as long videos uh, to keep it manageable. Um, so let's go ahead and play something. So like I say, it can be played by MIDI or by CV gate. I've got it connected up to the Rene here for player sequence. Like so, but I'll just tw twiddle with MIDI for now. Um, so basically it's eight, eight voice polyphonic, as I say, each voice um, plays from a wavetable. The wavetable can be any of the ones that is installed or that you install yourself on the micro SD card on the disting. Um, you select the wavetable with first parameter, loads it, and then you can play with the wavetable position. By default, it's mapped to this knob. Or you can control it by CV, um, and there's also ways to control it through other parts of the voice structure, for example, envelopes or LFOs. So that's fairly straightforward. Um, Parameter 9 is the wave offset, so that's the one I've just demonstrated. It's under control of this knob. And then wave spread um, lets you offset each voice uh, in within the wave table, basically. So uh, each voice will sound slightly different. So if I play that and then wind that up. You can hear if I choose a wavetable with a slightly more going on, say one of these. So there's a lot of variation within this wavetable. The wave spread parameter now moves uh, the, vo the voices through that table. So every time it selects a new voice, it's going to sound a bit different, which is kind of nice. Other basic parameters we've got here are the tuning. Coarse and fine. Um, I'm just going to do that in the editor so you can see how that works here. So, course you can drag the knob, you can type it, or if you know you want two octaves, you can just type in the value. And if you want to go back to the default, this row of buttons here are defaults. So, now back to defaults. Next parameter up, fine tune. If you want to tune tune the disting to something else. So I say that's basically how you play it um, from MIDI, eight voice polyphonic, as I said. Which is all rather nice. If you want to control it through CV gate, which I suggest is definitely something you're gonna to want to do. Um, the whole voice triggering structure is very much like the SD multi-sample mode, if you're already familiar with that, in that You've got a choice of 0, 1, 2, or 3 CV gate pairs to trigger the voices, and then it handles the voice allocation within the eight voices based on that. So at the moment, I've got one CV gate input on these two inputs here, connected to the X sequence on the Rene. So if I start that going, then off it goes. If I want two, 
then I have to put the input mode to two CV gate pairs and then it's going to start recognising the second pair of CV gates. Let's try some different wavetables while we're mucking about. So there we go, that's basically how you trigger the thing.